These are the stories. My little girl, she's changing lives just by being herself. Of organizations and people making a difference. When you first tell someone about adaptive wheelchair boxing, it doesn't sound real. And empowering others. It saved my life. It saved my life. Across Canada. I scored my first goal in my first blind hockey game. In our community. In 2012, 2013, at the Calvin's Water Ski Club, we started thinking about how could we develop a program which catered to and, and allowed people with different disabilities the ability to water ski. Simply put, without this clinic, a lot of these individuals would not have the opportunity to water ski at all. My name is Paul Dixon. I'm the president of the Calvin's Water Ski Club. I've been president now for 11 years. The club is located on Highway 5A, uh, just outside of Kamloops. Uh, we're on a private lake called Shumway Lake, and so we are able to operate without any other boats, uh, which is super important for when you're taking an adaptive skier so that they don't have to contend with big boat waves, etc. Um, you know, and for those who are new... We'll... The adaptive clinic usually starts out with a bit of a debrief in the morning. We go over the agenda for the day, then uh, basically we get right into it. My name is Cody Campbell. I'm with the Kamloops Water Ski Club. I'm the vice president and I've been with the club I think about eight or nine years now. Ever since I moved to Kamloops, it's been a big part of my, my life here. To get an adaptive skier up and skiing, it's a little bit different than conventional skiing. Uh, we typically have two people in the water, uh, one being a side skier and one being the adaptive participant. Um, and in most cases, uh, the side skier just holds on to the, the adaptive participant's cage uh, and assists them getting out of the water. Adaptive water skiing lends itself really well to individuals with a wide range of disabilities. We have participants right from, um, you know, full quadriplegics to individuals that just have intellectual disabilities. Uh, we have blind athletes and, and everything in between. The adaptive equipment consists of about uh, five or six different types of skis. We've got everything from trick skis, slalom skis, we have a jump ski, and they're equipped with chairs so that participants can sit on them and ski without, um, without using their legs, essentially. The last time I wanted to ski was in the open ocean. And this time I got the water ski in the lake. And that was totally different because in the ocean you have more boats going by. My name is Angeline Meyer and I was born with Weba Party. And sometimes my muscles don't do what I wanted to do. And I use a power chair to get them out to help me out. It is very important for the mental health to keep it going because you get the thrill and excitement and laughter and happiness. It was so good. Awesome. Safety is a top priority at the Adaptive Clinic. Um, we've got one of the best sites for it. Um, we've got the best volunteers for it. You know, there's always a side skier with the athlete and there's also always a chase boat as well. So, you know, it's, it's very safe. Most volunteers don't need a lot of training. Um, a lot of the help is just in um, getting participants strapped into the equipment, helping outfit the cages. Um, and then on the other end, there is some volunteers that do require some definite skills, and that would be in driving the boat, and especially in, uh, in skiing themselves to, to actually side ski and, and help participants out of the water. This weekend, I am going to be the boat driver exclusively, and uh, it's a lot of hours on the water, but it, it is a great fun uh, to do this. My name is Irina Ilkova and I'm an, a member of Kamloops Water Ski Club. 
The purpose of the adaptive clinic that we host is to introduce adaptive athletes to the sport of water skiing and just in general break this barrier that water skiing is something that uh, adaptive athletes can't do. Um, it is absolutely one of the best sports to try. You're out in the water, it is safe and fun way to spend your day anytime. <laughs> What we use for safety, we have a chase boat. Generally, we use a sea dew or a personal watercraft. So we've got a pilot on that, and then we've got a jumper, and that, that jumper is responsible to jump in the water if a skier uh, participant falls, and they help that participant um, you know, regain their balance, keep their head out of the water, and then, then once their head's out of the water, then that jumper will then steady that skier for their next start. Everything feel free comfy though? Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, yeah no, no. Comfy is a little good. He looks nice and stable. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Vince Priap. I was born in Cambodia uh, where I was stricken with polio uh, when I was a year old. My limitations are that I have paralysis in my legs and I use a manual wheelchair full time. Previous to this weekend, I have never tried water skiing. It's just a brand new activity, uh, something that I've never done before. And now I can say that I've done it, I've tried, and it was a lot of fun and I would certainly do it again. One of my passions is dancing, so wheelchair dancing. Um, I first learned how to swing dance in a wheelchair about 10 to 12 years ago. And I also run a non-for-profit society that teaches anyone with limited mobility and their uh, families and partners how to dance. Dancing requires maintaining your balance, like you want to ensure that you don't fall out of your wheelchair uh, doing various moves. And uh, water skiing is a lot about staying upright and not falling over and maintaining your balance. So that could be applicable to both of those activities. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. Doing sports with my dad has always been important to me um, just because it's something that we both love to do. We're both very active. One of the activities that Victoria and I do is bike riding. We've adapted a bike for Victoria. We've taken a regular adult mountain bike and we've put training wheels of a sort on the back to help her with her balance. That's a workout. My name is Victoria Vandenbosch and I have mild cerebral palsy on my right side. It is a slight indent in the frontal lobe of my brain that affects my mobility, my balance, and my muscle control. My name is Curtis Vandenbosch. And in um, 2017, I started noticing issues with my mobility, just uh, my one leg kind of dragged a little bit and I blamed it on past injuries like any guy would. I had a tumor inside my spinal cord that had to be removed surgically, which caused uh, impairment in my uh, lower limbs with uh, mobility, strength, balance. It was hard to see him deteriorate and struggle, but um, his determination and motivation throughout his recovery has been a huge inspiration. Um, I've always been there to support him, just as he has been there to support me growing up. At the age of two, I was put into adaptive horseback riding and he tried to make adaptations for me to be able to skate and with things like riding bikes as we had a tandem bike growing up so that he was able to go bike riding with me and I was able to participate in all of our family adventures. I uh, spent a lot of time in my life trying to adapt existing sports equipment, whether it be modifying an ATV to make it left hand drive and trying to figure out how to adapt things and get back into uh, active sports. Now that we both have limitations, it's even more important for both of us to stay active. So um, if we can adapt a sport or an activity so that both of us can participate in, we are more than eager to be able to do that. 
In the past, at my cabin, I've been trying to get up on regular skis growing up. That didn't quite work for me, so the first time I got up in an actual sit ski, I got up right away and I realized that that's what would work for me and that's how I was going to be able to water ski. I was really excited to actually get back and ski some more. I was able to advance and move to a more advanced ski. Previous to the clinic, I was able to participate in the Vancouver Clinic, so this clinic has been my third year. Growing up, I water skied a lot. I uh, was fairly proficient at it. I loved the sport, so for me to get into adaptive water skiing after my surgery has been just a joy to be able to get back out in the water and do something that I loved so much before. Jor, can you go over to the other side mm -hmm. and help him dunk Curtis? Oh yeah. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, water's beautiful. Oh, it's like a bathtub. My uh, personal expectations for the clinic, I wasn't able to get up independently out of the water and ski myself. Getting out of the water tends to be the hardest part. Once you're up on top of the water, there isn't as much pull on you. But it is tiring, but it's definitely worth the uh, effort and exhaustion. To be able to get out there and experience the water, uh, get out on a lake in the sunshine, um, all the little things that we kind of take for granted that some people just don't get a chance to do because they can't normally get access to a boat or a facility where they can get their wheelchair down to the boat or down to the water even. The ski was great. It was fantastic to get out there. Uh, it's just so enjoyable to skim across the water, um, to feel that rush of the uh, water going by, the air in your face. Yeah, I'm just so thankful the people here at uh, Kamloops Water Ski Club are uh, supportive and have this event. They've got the boat, they've got the people side skiing and helping out. Yeah, it's just fantastic. I'm Rob Goss. I have an L1 injury, which is my lower back. I'm a volunteer with Kamloops Water Ski Club here at Shumway Lake and I'm here to help the participants as a coach, as a mentor, and a volunteer. So, crossing the wake both sides, left to right. Mm -hmm. I want to see you looking beyond the wake. I want to see you getting right over, cross first. Being active and being involved in sport right out of rehab, to me, it was very important. It taught me things that I never knew that was important, right from travel to being not ashamed of my wheelchair anymore, and I become just a person with a voice who happens to be sitting in a chair. I started at a program like this and I learned quickly that I could compete at a, at a higher level and I went to provincials, nationals and worked my way up through the ranks and competed in World Disabled. The effect that it's had on people after they've tried the sport, it gives them a freedom away from the chair, away from the disability, and they're just hanging out on the water with other people. It takes the disability out of the sport. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. I went to work one day and I, my job was to relocate a weather station to a new location and just after finishing the, the installation I was coming down the mountain with all my equipment loaded on the quad and my quad flipped over and uh, was coming on to me and I landed backwards and 600 pounds of quad was uh, maybe a little more than I could take. <laughs> My name's Sandra McIntosh, I'm age 58, and I'm a paraplegic, T10, Asia C. 
Since my accident, I have been doing physio five days a week, trying to strengthen and regain muscle control. Sometimes you can get some of your mobility back. I believe that my hard work is paying off. I like to set my goals high. If I get close, then I'll still be happy, and, and, uh, and I like to make, make sure the doctors are wrong. <laughs> no. Don't come me. This is where I scream. Ready? <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Trying sit skiing for the first time, it was wonderful. I, uh, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I was kind of thinking I'd be having my head underwater. <laughs> Once I was in the water, they, they help you balance and they make sure that you've got good control before they let go, if you even want them to let go. And if you're a little nervous about that, they'll be right beside you the whole way. So it's quite, it's quite good. I had a 20 year career in the military and I learned there's nothing I can't do. It's. Uh, as long as you believe in yourself, you'll, you'll get her done. It, it might take you a little longer, but you'll get it done. Pitch! Yeah! Booger! Yeah! Very good! Yes! Oh my god, you did it! Yeah! You and your zoomy weenie legs. My, <laughs> my dog takes up a lot of my time. Uh, my little wiener dog named Booger, she's fantastic. Yes! Very good! Yeah, you're so good. Whenever people ask me why I'm in a wheelchair, uh, the most concise statement I can think of is, turns out Jeeps don't fly so good. Uh, people usually get a kick out of that. My name is Francis Laverut, and I have an L1T12 spinal cord injury, and I use a manual wheelchair. My friend and I were driving down a mountain after we had finished wheeling for the day, and he had lost control uh, and started to fishtail. And before we knew it, we were pointed towards the cliffside at an angle, and we sailed away. <laughs> or flew away, I guess. <laughs> I do anything physical. <laughs> I've always enjoyed a good struggle, so uh, weightlifting and uh, sports always seem to facilitate that need. I sit ski in the winter, I do calisthenics, I do kind of crossfit wheelchair workouts, I do, I don't know, anything I can really get, get into. A any opportunity that is afforded to me, I will take up. <laughs> Just be careful when they're making the corners at the end. Mm -hmm. No slingshotting. That's the best part! <laughs> I've uh, done one previous clinic yeah, with yeah. the Kamloops Water Ski Club, and it was my first introduction to the sport of adapted water skiing, and it's nothing short of spectacular. Ready for the cold? No. It's not warm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's it's fresh, fresh. Oh, it's great, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> when I went up by myself, the gentleman who was helping me launch had fallen, and the boat started to slow down thinking that we had both fallen, and I just said, go, go, go! And they pinned the throttle and I managed to save the launch and go up solo, which was spectacular because all he was doing was getting in my way anyway. So <laughs> I was quite happy that happened. With all of the mobility at my disposal, the only thing that was holding me back was my hand strength. It kind of deteriorated over the course of the run and uh, by the end, I thought that I had more in me, but I just, I just couldn't hold on anymore. It's incredibly important for people to try all of the disabled sports to see what it is that you'd like to get into. Because if you don't have the experience water skiing, how would you know that you'd like to do it or not? It had been six years of me being injured and I hadn't done water skiing or uh, snow skiing or anything. So finally dipping my toes into those waters <laughs> felt good. <laughs> Keeping moving in your chair is incredibly important, much more important than people give credit to. Stagnation causes more pain than, than almost anything I can think of. You need your mobility, especially as you age with 
uh, a spinal cord injury or any kind of disability. When your mobility is removed, your autonomy gone as well. Do it, water ski, do it, try it, do it. You won't regret it. It's fantastic fun. You won't hurt yourself, I promise. Unless you try. <laughs> Kamloops Water Ski Club has hosted the adaptive clinic here for the past several seasons. We get a great excitement out of it every year just seeing the participant turnout and uh, growth each season. So it's, it's definitely one of uh, the highlights of our season and we really enjoy hosting it each year. I honestly don't think there are any participants who couldn't come and participate at the adaptive clinic. Um, that's the cool thing about adaptive water skiing is that it really lends itself to anyone. It's quite easy to, uh, to get almost anyone up behind the boat water skiing and uh, you know it's just amazing to, to see the, uh, see the uh, satisfaction that participants get out of it. The joy that you see when someone gets up for the first time or somebody graduates to, to the next level and is on a different ski, it, it's super contagious. And seeing those different participants and having, seeing their joy and their enthusiasm is, it's a highlight of, of the year for me and, and I know it's a highlight of the year for the rest of the club members. Produced by Ascent Films Inc. Producer, Location Audio, Lucy Bacala. Director, Cinematographer, Editor, Yuri Bacala. Original Music, Stu Goldberg. Additional Camera, Ryan Tevitt. Production Assistant, Caden Lehman. Colorist, Stephen Anturi. Narrator, Jim Van Horn. Special thanks to Kamloops Water Ski Club volunteers and participants. Integrated Describe Video Specialist, M. Williams. Graphics, Andrew Antonello. Content Development Specialist, Sylvie Fiquette. Coordinating Producer, Jennifer Johnson. Director Production, Kara Nye. Director Programming, Brian Perdue. VP Content Development and Programming, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Copyright 2022, Accessible Media, Inc.